afternoon guys welcome back it is now we're in i think we're in week we're in week nine of the time trial diaries so it's pushing on halfway in really between now and the start of the season so we're kind of mid midpoint of our training for the winter uh for ready for the new season ahead anyway um just want to quickly recap this week is a little bit of changing of the guard so to speak we are kind of doing similar to what we did last week but we're just up in a few more on the intervals and cutting some of the recovery time down just to bring it shorter and that's going to be a pattern that will keep going over and over in January and obviously February we'll then squeeze it down a little bit more, push the intervals out a bit more and then we're ready for racing in March. So this week just run for it, it's going to be Tuesday will be the same sort of session as what we did last week but instead of doing the five times two minutes we're going to do eight times two minutes two minute recovery in between at 95 percent and then on to the two times 10 which is going to be now two times 12 uh low cadence strength gear again and then to finish off that session normally we would do i think that's pretty much it yeah it's pretty much it so um for that session so that's tuesday out of the way uh, wednesday i am going to do a recovery wednesday uh, i want to clear my legs out for the target thursday session which is slightly different to what we've done for the last i think the last two weeks we've done a six minute i think it's a six minute and a 10 minute so this week we're going to be doing five minutes and 15 minutes at the target which is 280 watts um, which will take us nicely into a rest day or a recovery day on friday however i feel um, and then saturday we're going to be doing once again the high cadence and into um what else we're going to do we did high cadence last week and then oh yeah the high, high cadence uh spinning and then into standing starts and then finishing off again with the high cadence but we're going to up in up in those to eight of the first ones or oh, and then seven at the end whereas before we were doing tens so it would drop two but we're putting them on the end of the session this week so i'm going to try and push extra hard on that one and then sunday is going to be back to where we was again this week which i think definitely worked doing the uh, four times 20 minutes at tempo um that session has definitely brought me on no doubt in what i've been up to recently and i can feel i've had gains from that session i think so far recapping i reckon i've gained more from doing the tuesday session which is the strength work and the tempo work on the sunday and saying that the target Thursday session so I think to be honest with you at the moment I pretty much feel like I'm nailing it in regards to my training and getting it right it's working for me and that's what makes a difference so anyway it is going to be rest day for me today so nothing to do um got to work this evening in the massage room which is pretty much first first massage back this year really I've got a, there you go it is what it is so um anyway see you tomorrow Welcome back guys, it is Tuesday 7th of January, um, update for you, I have woke up this morning with a sore, well, it's not so much neck, it's actually in between scapula and rhomboid area, it's coming out of there, um, it's kind of a bit of a weak spot for me actually if I'm going to get an issue where I've slept funny, woke up in the morning and it was really killing me, but I just thought I'd give me an opportunity to show you, I mean obviously massage would be the ultimate answer, but getting to that spot isn't particularly easy for self doing it yourself so um what i use is one of these called the knobler you can change the uh that around to different angles if you want to get in there um personally i've been using this this morning but what i normally do is have one of these guys heat it up in the microwave for a couple of minutes put a bit of heat on there which is difficult to get around there so i'll put it on there and I'll lay on the sofa against it warm the area up first as if you was going to get a massage that would warm up the area first before they start to do any sort of trigger point or or deep tissue and then that goes into the point there find the point of tension which is just there i can feel it on the lower rhomboid and then i just bring that down and pull into there hold for about 30 seconds the pain will start to subside and then release and just keep doing that in fact it's not a bad thing for me to do every so often for regular massage i think when you're in that position quite a lot you're bringing that muscles in at the back and that obviously then becomes a little bit of a weak point for me so uh, grab yourself one of them they sell them on ebay or any massage company also that one is a regular maintenance one goes behind your neck if you've got anything in the neck you can hold it there as if you was trying to do trigger point or you can just massage it like that so that's that 
So uh, kind of feel better now from this morning anyway, which is a good sign. By tomorrow, I'll be back. I'll be back to normal. If you'd have left that and just left it, it would have got worse and worse and worse and hung on and made your life misery. Anyway, today is Tuesday, so we are going to be doing. I think it's six times two minutes um, at uh, 95 percent or 85 percent i'm not sure but i'm going to put it up on the screen for you anyway and then into two times 12 minutes this week not 10 so an extra two minutes low cadence not so much looking at the power but i'm going to try and keep it around 60 cadence and try and hit around about the 245 250 mark so it's obviously working on the tempo but low cadence concentrate on the up pull today try and obviously uh, pretend you've got some floating balls on top of your legs and pushing the balls in the air upstroke is important obviously um, and that will get you a nice smooth power delivery as well so that's it so i shall see you in the garage absolutely gutted come down to the garage looked at the training peaks whoever sets my training has given me eight times two minutes not six so two more to do but hey ho anyway catch you towards the end halfway through six minutes in the last 12 Struggling to be honest, very much so. 258 cadence, sorry, 256 cadence, uh, power, 257 cadence. Another six to go. Shitty. Keep the upstroke going. Imagine a ball on your knees. One, two. One, two, all done. A lot worse than what I thought, to be honest. It's <laughs> never ending the last one, but uh, we got there. I think we're averaging sort of like late 50 cadence. It's 55, 11 on the resistance two on the turbo, which probably means nothing to most people because you've got smart trainers, but uh, day's rest tomorrow. You know, have a spin tomorrow, wash out the legs ready for Thursday target session so uh, I'll catch you later evening guys it is Thursday and that means there's only one thing target Thursday um, I didn't do anything yesterday I really couldn't be bothered I only had a 30 minute quick easy spin planned but I uh, <clears throat> had to do a shift in the massage room straight after work the time I finished that and I didn't it was just getting on so I thought nah I'll leave it and just have a rest up and the rest is always a good thing when you get to my age anyway so we're gonna have a good warm-up we're gonna do a little bit more of an extended warm-up as we didn't do anything yesterday and then straight into the five minutes at 280 and then into 15 minutes at 280 so uh, I'll catch you in a bit quick half time scores on the doors um, about 287 watts for five minutes I'm trying to wind it back a little bit because get carried away for the 15 minute session I might pay for that in the last quarter of that but uh, feel pretty good that first five minutes always a bit bitey on the legs anyway I've having a rest day yesterday but quite pleased with that so get back a couple more minutes of recovery and it's straight into the 15 remember pace it mini time trial 15 minutes Done. Oh, absolute horrid. Just want that five minutes to come to a stop. Just come to a stop. Keep spinning now. Get rid of that lactic in your legs. Come on, feel my quads burning. Anyway, that's me cooked. Session done. Well pleased. 
well pleased with that effort. See you on Friday, guys. Morning and happy Saturday, guys. It is Saturday, I think it's the 11th of, this, of January. So, uh, happy Saturday. Anyway, this session today is the same as what I've done now for the last few weeks. It's usually 10 times one minute high cadence, five times standing starts, into seated, hold the cadence for race cadence, and then back into five more high cadence at the end. But this time now, we're in January, we're going to shorten down the high cadence to eight instead of ten and then do six of the standing starts which is basically top end power work so we're going to do six of them instead of five and then as the month progresses we'll shorten down the cadence again do more of the high power standing starts so hopefully by all being well by february we'll be doing ten times one minute at the, at the, the power efforts and that should get me a bit more top end power as well. But I will say today I had a recovery, I need to mention, was three minutes in between the standing starts. But it just felt so easy today. So I ended up doing the last three minutes with two minute recovery and it felt like it taxed, taxed me a little bit more. So I'm really happy with that, um, which I think shows in the last, I think since Christmas, that two week block at Christmas where we hit some really high TSS over 500 each week. I think I'm seeing some of that gains right now. So uh, if we could have another Christmas two weeks in a couple of weeks, much appreciated. So anyway, that's me done now, wrapping it up. Take a dog for a walk and chill out. And I've got a massage this afternoon, so looking forward to that. And uh, I'll see you out there tomorrow. Here we go. It's Friday, thank God. Um, just doing a real gentle 30 minute leg loosener after yesterday's session. Um, not going to lie, legs felt proper restless last night. Um, had trouble sleeping in the end. It was kind of, they just felt hot, heavy, didn't know where to put them really. So I think that was proper at the uh, top end of my limit right now. So, but uh, it was a good session. Um, glad that I got it done, got it out of the way. So a nice easy spin today. And then tomorrow we've got some standing starts some high cadence on the road, subject to the weather, but I think weather looks good tomorrow, so we've uh, got lots of things to do in the day time after that as well. We've got a massage in the afternoon, which is more than welcome, so uh, that'll be it. So perhaps I'll see you on the road tomorrow. Morning, Sunday morning is here, and it's looking a bit wet and windy out there today, so high winds out there. And it has been a little bit of wetness yesterday, so uh, just the two and a half hours to do today with 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off, so tempo and then into zone two. What ball late getting everything ready this time of year is, but uh, it's got to be done. And everything's got to be locked up as well. So, um, there we go, pretty much ready to go out now. So, um, just a couple more bits, get power meter ready as you do. But uh, it kind of does go on and on, doesn't it? Having to get all this stuff ready, but all part of the sport, I suppose. Legs feel pretty good, actually. Um, feel feel quite strong in the legs had a good massage yesterday which was nice um, released off the glutes and feel kind of ready for today's ride so uh, I'll catch you out there on the road I said just done the last 20 minute interval um, been a funny old day weather wise a bit of wind bit of rain a bit of sun actually quite windy in some places but um, been really enjoyable but uh, just wanted to finish on this absolute wonderful view of Orsett in the Baltham. I think this is one of Dave Lindsay's favourite views as well but uh, but no so far it's been a good ride again on a Sunday 
Thought was if I had some quality intervals there, I think I did four or five 20 minute intervals in tempo. Sticking to the plan <coughs> as uh, as I should do, rather than going over the top. So, um, been a great week again, I think. Real solid week. Um, just feel getting stronger and stronger. So, looking forward to a rest day tomorrow. Let those gains happen, so to speak. And, <coughs> and that's about it, really. So, uh, see you on Monday, planning for the week ahead. And I'll leave you on this beautiful view of Essex.